well. What would you say if I say Turkish filmmakers made the first Star Trek cinema movie in the world? Yes, this information is real, just like a heart attack of course. I know, I know. Many of you already respect, but when you first hear the sentence, you probably misjudge it. No matter what the reason is, the truth just hangs in the air regardless. Yeah, Turks made the first Star Trek motion picture in the world. In this regard, Turkish Star Trek named as Turistomer in Space visited the movie theaters six years before the Star Trek The Motion Picture. The first official movie adaptation of the original Star Trek series was released. Before going to the detail of Turistomer's intergalactic adventure, I think we need to observe the philosophy of this interesting character a little more. Ya ben neredeyim şimdi affedersin? Galaksinin en büyük gezegenindesin. Ha, yani burası şimdi Kasımpaşa'ya yakın mı yani? Kasımpaşa'dan 3 milyon ışık yılı uzaktayız. Ha, desene nalıncı yok şimdi sana. Tristomer is essentially a flaneur, a vagabond, as well as a fine spirit. He's a variation of Turkish people stuck between the East and the Western. And He's against all the impositions surrounding him. As a character brought to life by legendary actor Sadri Alışık, Turistomer has an extraordinary chance to travel incredible locations, which many children and young people in Turkey can only dream of visiting. It's possible to see him sometimes wandering among cannibals and sometimes throwing javelins in a bullfighting arena. In those years, the imagination of young people with limited economic opportunities was flourished thanks to Tristamer's fantastic words. Omer is a real traveler Trump. He is so happy even though he doesn't have any money in his pockets. He's not affiliated with any authority or boss, etc. etc. And no one can buy this freedom from him. He is kind of Casanova but never thinks of marriage. In fact, all these journeys of Omar are way to escape from all those social impositions. From another aspect, Trist Omar is also chaplain for Turkey. Yeah, this is so cool, huh? Despite all the infinite silence of chaplain, Omar is an insanely chatty one. Whatever. I suppose I didn't say it, by the way. Nevertheless, I can say that he is considered as one of the highest peak point of absurd humor in Turkey. He always maintains goodwill according to a flange that can set the price that no matter what, how much cause it needs, my future will never get brighter at ease. Wow, so poetic, huh? He also managed to overcome all kinds of absurd situations. Tristomer is also really a tricky talker and his talkative character makes him so livable in country like Turkey where the tradition of Medda culture plays an essential part in humor. In this regard, we can say that he is one of the best written characters of Turkish cinema history. But if I give more fries to Sadri Alışık and his iconic character Tristomer, I will lose control forever. We better go back to movie Tristomer in Space, which is our main subject of course. Allah'ım ya Rabbim bir sebep yap be. Toz et beni buradan. Kurtar beni yok et buradan. Although it's accepted as a science fiction parody, Twistomer in Space is seriously the first Turkish science fiction movie. But there is an important detail to be considered here. Although the movie is a well-known Star Trek ripoff, in fact, it has been redesigned according to the Turkey's cultural code. In previous ripoff examples, we have seen some characters trying to make a presence by adapting American cinema to their culture. But here, we have a character who doesn't care to be a westernized person. While blending his own culture with the western culture, he literally draws his portrait as a citizen of war. Teşekkür ederim. Bu ne abi? Kız. Ne kızı? Uzay kızım. Sarı alarm, dikkat. Canavarımdır ha. Yerim ulan sizi. Ne ya çok güzel. İktidar koltuğu bu be. 
Muhakkaten oturayım bakayım nasıl indirirler. Üş. Ee, yapma lan canım alayım ya ben. Makine mi makine mi? Ha? Bu da mı makine? <gülüyor> Ulan sen kışa ne güzel yanarsın be abi. Bunun kurması bitmiş idare ettin. As a Turkish vagabond, Turist Ömer is a character that is not related to any nationalist discourses. He's a slum teenager who tries to adapt to the dizzying pace of the global world. The film is largely adapted from the episode named Man Trap in the Star Trek original television series, also the first episode of Star Trek. It's also the last and well-known installment of the Tristamer cinema series in which the hero finally managed to go on a massive intergalactic journey after all bizarre adventures in his previous films. But all the components positioned in this ripoff has a strange harmony. Sinirlenmek mi? Böyle mantık dışı bir duygunun bizlerde bulunmadığını herhalde unuttunuz doktor. İniş hazırlıkları tamam kaptan. Teşekkür ederim Mr. Spark. Ha Spark sen misin? Bize dört tane çay gönder ama demli olsun anladım. Ha. Çaylar ne oldu Cafer Bey? Okay, this iconic salt sucking beast has been a childhood nightmare for many of us. Also, although alien fight signs look very funny today, well, they sure have impressive moments for those who lived their childhood at that time. In this movie, we witness that world, cult, is redefined in many ways. In the Turkish adaptation, all original names are kept unchanged and we see Truist Omer reinterpreting the names of the crew in his very own way. The movie brings Star Trek's narrative world to the screen in every aspect. And in doing so, it aims to be a careful completion despite the low budget. Being an adaptation, released only seven years after the original Star Trek series and having a large array of audiences in Turkey following with admiration and curiosity summarize the elaborate workmanship behind this lovely work. That's right, Star Trek is undoubtedly one of the most watched series in Turkey in those times. Another interesting detail is the dubbing artist of the original series also played a role in this movie. In fact, the humor sense of director Hookie Senner has very smart predictions. It's impossible for Douglas Adams fans to miss the level of sarcasm. It might be possible that even ZAZ means Zaz team after many years was inspired by this film in many ways. Who knows? Turkish Star Trek during a period when Turkish people made the subject of being a space kind of humor materials for years offers an interesting panorama of how a Turkish guy's casual habits and culture he carries with him be met by other civilization in space. Captain, can I take my hand? What is that, Spark? I've seen you the first time. Can I take my hand and take my hand? Why, Mr. Spark? I don't want to stay here, but I want to stay here. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, we can say traditional humor in Turkey meets modern tools with Western worlds and affects the whole Earth and rest of the galaxy of course. So much so that, even years later, its starting point of the Turks in Space template in which the influence will not end. Years after, even the science fiction movie Gora which was created by Cem Yilmaz, although it has more dynamic content and visually more effective technical images, proceed on the path that Turkish Star Trek movies opened. Wait, I'm a cyborg, but that's not okay, dude. Tristamar is a kind of fish out of water for all his adventures. Despite his adventures before, 
We can say that he exceeded his limits thanks to his extraordinary intergalactic experience. However, Omer's existence overturns all the chemistry and balances in the spaceship anyway. He keeps bringing some trouble with technology, he puts the crew in difficult situations, even he doesn't want to do. On the other hand, he keeps fighting not just with the computer system or Mr. Spock, but also constantly with elements that are foreign to his culture of course. Okay, let's be honest, this situation is not abnormal for the western world either. At least, there is no tragic relationship between Hall 9000 and Dave here. The computer system which Tristamar calls Computer, computer. computer. computer. is a full cauldron with flashlights mounted on. Ingeniously, huh? Well, by the way, talking about flashlight, okay, it does other things in this movie too. For example, our man's status for hunger is detected by a flashlight. <laughs> Huh? Okay, don't ask me how, please. So what about space cigarettes? Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, rice spell. Space and cigarettes, uh, which means invisible cigarettes in space. Okay, that's it. Okay, enough. If we go deeper in this kind of details, well, we will be dragged into the black hole and I'm not ready for this, okay? Omar makes everyone crazy, even a walking iceberg like Spock. Sinirlerimin gücü kalmadı. Senin bütün gücün kulaklarına gitmiş be kaba kulak. Bu derece ilkel bir canavar olamaz. Mister Turist'in iki sorusuna mantıklı cevap verebilmek bütün uzay matematiğini çözmekten daha zor. He causes an explosion of the computer system with a single simple question. Nedir komputer? What is the z means? Favorite meaningless word of Omar. That's all. He is like a brutal virus infiltrate into the system. The most logical comment about Omar comes from Mr. Spock himself. An irrational creature. Anyway, poor Spock doesn't know what's hidden. Even though it's a low bash production, of course, the movie managed to fill gaps with smart cinematic moves. The film has elegant costume design, by the way. Some special effects are created by drawing on the negatives of the film. I'm not sure if this comparison is correct, but it's not a sample like The Man Who Saved the World, aka Turkish Star Wars. It's not a random circus. This time, we have consistent adaptation here. The film also benefits from Turkey's fantastic historical background. Remember Cappadocia scenes? where the ancient city was shown as a foreign galactic civilization in Turkish Star Wars? In the Turkish Star Trek example, in this time, the ancient city of Ephesus was used effectively. It looks like there was no difference from the decors that prepared for original Star Trek series. Budget difference between the television series in USA and this precious ripoff was closed by the clever use of the historical beauties of the country. Another technical factor that refreshed the film in terms of budget is the excessive use of front shots. This preference is one of the savior of many Turkish filmmakers. Thanks to this technique, when the camera is in a fixed position, all characters stay together and stay in opposite position to the camera, characters sometimes speak towards the camera. <laughs> oh. 
Opening and closing voice effects of the doors are made by the devices from the original series, but somehow voice technicians must have been born. Rest of all those voices are made by mouths, just like some other special voice effects. The soundtrack of the movie is also borrowed from Pink Floyd. Well, that summarized the psychedelic side of the film's general chemistry very well. Okay, okay, I did not miss it. Not to mention the imitation of scene with Kirk and Gore. Although we say imitation, I think this sign is totally underrated. Now oh, come on, was that legendary sign of Turkish Kirk and Gore so realistic? What kind of fight it is? In fact, the Turkish Star Trek was at least as popular abroad as Turkish Star Wars. And in fact again, Tristomar has the adventurous spirit of a Turkish. Well, guy who has had the chance to go to the space with all his good intent. He reminds a society who loves love so much of laughing and laughing again. Thanks to the long years that were gifted from Mr. Spock on him, Tristomar was saved from getting married. As a humble postmodern science fiction character, it is reminiscent of mine forever. Well, farewell Tristomer, nice to know you, our good spirited vagabond. Well, thanks for watching fellas. Mr. Tristomer, you can't get rid of me. Yes. Ah, that's it. I'll give you a chance to get rid of me. I'll give you a chance to get rid of me.